I did not have the courage to be an actor in the city. People become scared in life as they grow old. I feel. मतलब एक टाइम था जब अकाउंट में हजार से भी कम थे मैंने दोस्त से पैसे लिए थे घर में ये नहीं बताया था वैसे मेरी वजह से ही ओ टी टी बूम आया आई वु टेल माई डैड पापा यहाँ पे अच्छे दिखने वाले खराब एक्टर्स बहुत सारे हैं अच्छे दिखने वाले अच्छे एक्टर्स बहुत सारे हैं खराब दिखने वाले खराब एक्टर्स बहुत सारे हैं खराब दिखने वाले अच्छे एक्टर्स बहुत सारे हैं Join us for a chat with the talented Naveen Kasturia as he takes us behind the scenes of Aspirants and shares insights into the dynamic world of OTT in India. It's an explanation of dreams, aspirations and the evolving landscape of digital entertainment. Don't miss this intriguing conversation with such a versatile actor. Welcome to the HB show Naveen. Uh so happy to finally have coordinated this and sitting with you to chat. Thank you for having me. <laughs> I'm going to start with uh, a very बेसिक क्वेश्चन जो काफी ओवर आचिंग है कि वाई इज इट दैट इंजीनियर्स आर ऑलवेज सो डेस्परेट टू नॉट गेट अ जॉब इन एन इंजीनियरिंग फील्ड यू नो एक्चुअली वी प्रोड्यूस मोर देन टेन लैख इंजीनियर्स सो द द नंबर दैट यू टॉकिंग अबाउट इज वेरी स्मॉल ओके मोस्ट ऑफ देम आर एक्चुअली इन देर कोर नॉट इन द कोर बट दे आर इन द कॉपरेट सेक्टर बट ऑल्सो द थिंग इज you know in middle class households mm. it's the most default Set. thing that you do mm. and by the time you are into your college and you know um you are getting i mean open to the world i think that's when you decide what you really want to do so how did uh, engineering happen for you because you've spoken about writing your first skit when you were just 6 and uh, being very ardent about film and mm-hmm. acting and writing mm-hmm. So was it just the the family setup ki ne ye karna hai engineering safe option hai or was it something that even you thought it's a good career line it's a safe stable career line actually safe hmm I, that's how i mean people become scared in life as they grow old i feel yeah. kids are li- generally more uh, courageous you know hmm. so i i never went for engineering in order to be uh, safe in life I just I I used to enjoy mathematics and physics and uh, I was uh, also obsessed with the rank. I wanted to get a rank in IIT. Okay. And uh, I was not very sure of engineering. I didn't even know how would it be. What all would I have to study to be an engineer? I just wanted to secure a rank. Mm-hmm. So I chose it myself and by the time I got into engineering um uh that's when I decided I would I would stay in touch with this side of mine. you know mm. even if i continued to be um, in that corporate world i would try and stay in touch with theater and acting mm. because i would enjoy that in school and college and yeah i when i was in class 6 i once i i stood up and said that i want to be an actor when i grow up mm. but uh, but ha huh, by the time i was i was much older i was not really uh, i was not not really considering it because mm. i thought it was a very um um matlab wo bachpan ka cheez hogi but bade hote hote main aisa soch nahi raha tha ki main you know because i think it needed me to change the city mm. like i had to come to bombay, bombay and i don't think i would have done that i was not uh, i i had that um secured world in delhi living with parents is easier generally especially when i was uh, mm. when i was 18 19 yeah. so i was not thinking of doing that but it happened gradually mm. i started working i was getting bored i money was not it didn't have that charm i mean i was not uh, so that all that played a part in making me uh, come here mm. and uh, Yeah, it all happened gradually. the the sh- the shock was there, the seed was there, but um, कुछ भी बहुत conscious planning नहीं था, ना engineering का, ना films में या मतलब इधर आने का. Did you get the rank? No. Didn't. I mean, I got a rank in Delhi College of Engineering, yeah. IIT. I couldn't clear. Okay. Yeah. And lots of people come to Bombay hoping to become an actor, or at least having like. that thing at the back of their head right mm. okay, maybe you came for a very different reason getting a job at jp morgan chase yeah what were those initial years like uh 
because there are so many people who go through that right they have the corporate job but there's actually something else that they want to do mm-hmm. which is brewing on the side so what was that process like for you see jp morgan was actually just a zaria mm. i came here to be part of films mm. you know and uh, but i was not allowed to come to bombay just like that so that's why i had to take up a job i'm glad i got that job and i worked for it and it happened to me but um, uh it was just a matter of time i would have left it mm. it happened like that that i just i worked only for 3 months in bombay mm. and then i you know um i've also mentioned this in the past i, I like i've spoken about this story that i met a colleague of mine who used to live with an actor mm. so when i met him he kind of guided me to you know how to get in touch with production houses and i told him that i want to get into direction and and the reason that i wanted to get into direction and not into acting honestly was this because i did not have the courage to be an actor in the city i just felt that every second person would be an actor you know as you rightly said how am i different from them i am not a tall guy i am not a very conventionally uh, you know good looking guy and and uh, so i thought and i was always very fond of stories you know stories in the sense that i would watch a lot of cinema mm. uh, still i feel i'm more than being an actor or a or a creative person i my most favorite thing is to watch movies you know i uh, so i thought if i have to act i'll make movies and mm. so that was my plan ke nobody is going to give me a chance uh I'll make my films and then I'll act in them. Mm. That's how I got a kind of break in college also. I remember my first festival in my college I wanted to act in plays but I could not clear any audition. Mm. There were English plays, Hindi plays. Phir wo us festival mein maine kuch nahi kiya. Next festival mein I wrote a play. Mm. I directed it and it did well. So I thought I, that's how my approach would be even in Bombay. How did TVS pictures happen it released in 2015 uh there were very few big web series at that <clears throat> point in time you know uh, yeah. so it's one of the path breakers essentially in that context what was the impact that it had on you your career especially given this history right ki yeah. i'm coming to bombay to do this i mean i have the job but this is what i really want to do so how was it received how did it have an impact on you see uh, when pictures happened by then my film had come out mm. i had become an actor mm. in my head mm. i'd done a film called sulemani kida uh, directed by amit masurkar who eventually made newton and sherni yeah. so, but kida unfortunately was critically acclaimed but it didn't get me a lot of work correct um so uh, pictures uh when i heard about the idea i wanted to do it and uh, i didn't know it would become such a rage and you know uh, in a way it was the first proper web series Correct. from india yeah. they also talk about permanent roommates but permanent roommates ka pehla episode 10 minute ka hai so that's more of that was like an extended sketch mm. iska first episode was 45 minutes and it, they were releasing it on youtube mm. and that was not a very common thing to do at that point there was anyway not web show ka culture hmm. i mean netflix or amazon they had not really come to india by then yeah. this is 2015 yeah. so youtube pe chote mote videos chalte the hmm. i did it because i felt there was a lot of you know of course i could connect to the story and i also felt it's there's a lot of heroism yeah related to this character and uh, it just did I mean I don't think if the makers expected it I was doing it to have fun mm-hmm. because the thing that I had the most expectations from um didn't get me any work so I was not linking any um, outcome with my process I thought I would just enjoy and move on to something else but it did well and um post pictures only I think I became you know I would say I started earning Correct. Before that, I had not really started earning uh, mm-hmm. through this. Ah, uh, आपके एक interview में I think Jaydeep ने भी ये कहा था कि 
पेरेंट्स इसलिए अगेंस्ट होते हैं hmm. आपके ड्रीम के बिकॉज इसलिए नहीं बिकॉज उनको प्रॉब्लम है आपके सपनों से या यू वडेवर बट उनको लगता है कि आप पैसा नहीं कमा पाएंगे hmm. या यू you नो know, इसके थ्रू आप पैसे कैसे कमाएंगे सो आई केम टू बॉम्बे इन टू थाउजेंड एट बट टिल टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन आई वॉज नॉट रियली डूइंग वेल फाइनेंशली आई मीन सो आई थिंक पिक्चर्स काइंड ऑफ ब्रॉड दैट फाइनेंशियल स्टेबिलिटी इन टू माई लाइफ एंड ऑफकोर्स इट मेड मी लिटल मोर रिस्पेक्टेड एक्टर सो it gave me i mean that pictures only gave me my career acting career right. i feel yeah so 2008 to 2015 7 years is very long yeah to not have that stability right yeah. uh, you also mentioned earlier that your dad said that theek hai if not engineering you can do commerce uh, maybe not arts yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah so was you aware was your family aware that it's actually acting that you're pursuing and i asked this because there are so many people who go through this right there are so many people who there's a chosen path and then they want to do something else but there's always that hesitation ki main bataun kaise like how do i convey this message to family friends whoever so how is it for you no i was if i you know think about it i was always a very i mean i could not have done it alone Hmm. I could not come to Bombay without convincing my my father, and uh, I could not have lied to him. And I needed that, you know. I needed I don't know. I needed somebody to talk to, so uh, I couldn't have done it on a on my own. So they were aware of everything. They were like uh, when I left the job also. I remember when I got this. Um, you know i would like to tell you when i i don't know if i have ever spoken about it mm. when i got this job with vishesh films mm. my first job as an assistant director and uh, there the director told me to not leave your job and work here for 10 days and see because he was not very convinced with the idea of me leaving my corporate job in jp morgan and engineering and getting into getting in and get into films wo mujhe khud hi discourage kar rahe the wo keh rahe the it's not a good field and you should not get into films my director so i didn't resign i worked with them for 10 days and then the day i was going to the office to give my resignation i was talking to my dad and i was telling him that you know i should and i had planned things up i thought this is what i'm going to tell him that uh something has come up and this and that and this is not well i don't remember the exact reason because it was a lie and i have to go back to delhi and things like that you know mm. my dad was very adamant about telling the truth to the manager and he said no just tell him that you're joining films and and i'm so happy that i listened to him you know unko to maine bataya bhi nahi main ja raha hu to main local manager ko jo maine bataya ke ha i'm not going to come from tomorrow and uh, you know and i'm joining films and he just didn't get it i mean because it's a f- yeah not <clears throat> see now it's still a very you know there is a direction to it and it's still considered um, a profession mm. because a lot of people are following it and you're also earning money through this profession people are becoming actors through instagram and youtube yeah. and people don't have to switch cities to be actors but i think us waqt it was this is 15 years ago yeah it was not a legit profession so he found it bada i mean he felt it was very mature of me to leave the job and join films but i'm glad i did it because i eventually became popular and now the entire jpmc they talk about me all the time what were some of the jobs you did to sustain i worked as a writer also in television mm. i wrote uh uh yeah and i've aided on four films i've assisted on lots of ads mm. and uh, i have also worked as a production assistant on a film which we could never complete uh, hum log ek film shoot kar rahe the rock de shaadi mm. sir iska main avdeep singh was a director abid yol and janelia were the actors and i was allotting rooms to people there so i've done um lots of things i mean yeah i was writing for a and because amit uh, amit and i we became friends on the sets of lsd hmm. so amit was trying to make his film yeah. masurkar i was trying to make mine and we also didn't have money so we were trying to do other jobs so he was writing for but amit the thing with amit is he thinks in english so he wanted someone to write in hindi so hmm. he would write the screenplay then i would write the dialogues 
चालीस हज़ार मिलते थे बीस वो लेता था बीस में लेता था ऐसा वो मुझे बताता है पता लगे वो ज़्यादा लेता था बिकॉज ही वॉज दन एंड बीच में एक पॉइंट पे आई आई ऑल्सो स्टार्टेड प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर जी मैट यू नो एंड टू थाउजेंड इलेवन बिकॉज आई थाट आई वुड गो टू यू एस आई हेड रिटन द फिल्म आई वॉज नॉट एबल टू मेक इट पीपल वुड रीड इट बट नथिंग इट वुड नॉट नथिंग वुड हैपन टू इट सो आई थाट आई वुड आई वुड गो टू सम बिजनेस स्कूल देन इवेंचुअली आई वुड जॉइन डिजनी और पैरामाउंट इन यू एस एंड देन आई वुड हैव द अथॉरिटी टू सेलेक्ट माई काइंड ऑफ वर्क एंड देन आई डू इट बिकॉज मुझे ना फिल्मों से प्यार रहा है करिश्मा सो आई वॉन्ट टू स्टे इन टच विद फिल्म इट वॉज नॉट अबाउट डिरेक्शन और एक्टिंग आई एम स्टिल क्वाइट फैसिनेटेड वन आई ऑन सेट एंड वेन आई सी द फाइनल प्रोडक्ट आई एम वेरी लकी दैट ऑफ बिकम एन एक्टर बट मैं किसी भी फिल्म से जुड़ी चीज़ से काम कर रहा होता तो मैं खुश होता तो दिस वॉज द प्लान एंड आई टुक जी मैट आई मैंने दोस्त से पैसे लिए थे दस हज़ार रुपये नहीं थे मेरे पास घर में ये नहीं बताया था वैसे अभी मैं डी मार रहा हूँ बट जी मैट देते वक्त मैंने घर में नहीं बताया था कि दिस इज़ वॉट आई एम थिंकिंग आई एम श्योर कई कई चीज़ें नहीं बताता हूँ यार आई मीन देर वॉज अ टाइम वेन आई डेंट हैव मतलब एक टाइम था जब अकाउंट में हज़ार से भी कम थे तो वो नहीं बोला होगा मैंने सो इफ यू गो टू सी द ओ टी टी बूम एंड योर करियर वो हैपनिंग वेरी पैरली साइड बाई साइड हाउ डू थिंक इट्स चेंज बिकॉज ओलियो एंड आई सी दिस वेरी ऑफन कि ये एक तरह का लेवलर है राइट कि इफ दर इज न्यू टैलेंट ओ टी टी इज दे देर इज अ प्लेटफॉर्म नाउ वेर इट्स नॉट एज सेंट्रलाइज Hmm. it's very decentralized yeah. and uh, there are more opportunities for talent there's more opportunity for just people who aren't necessarily from within the industry and have been bred in the industry uh, and that's why you see so many talented people yeah. today hmm. however now as time has passed um, you see mainstream actors also who yeah. are only on silver screen mm-hmm. silver screen mm-hmm. uh, so to say are doing ott whether it's shows whether it's films whether it's whatever right mm-hmm. so how has it evolved uh, first of all i'm very happy films have started working again you know mm. in theaters yeah so then these mainstream actors can go back to doing films <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah. so <clears throat> i think uh i think from its i mean since its inception mm. uh, ott was dependent on stories and not on faces correct i feel and that's why you know even if you compare the kind of things we are making creating on ott as compared to what we're doing in you know theatrical hmm. there's a huge difference but you know the new stories people yeah. are attempting um even if i talk about the the shows that i have done hmm. you know aspirants on or maybe pictures also we you don't make such stories for big screen mm. because um you would mostly attempt something that is because it's it's an expensive medium you know correct but there was an audience that was you know that was consuming international content all the time and there was no uh, there was no um there was not enough content for that audience mm. so i think ott catered to those people of course uh, ab jab bahut cheeze banti hain to fir uh, yahan pe bhi बहुत एवरेज काम होता है ज़्यादातर शोज ऑल्सो दैट कम आउट आर वेरी एवरेज आई थिंक लेकिन स्टिल आई थिंक इट हैज़ गिवन एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू ऑल द क्रिएटर्स इट हैज़ क्रिएटेड आई मीन गिवन एम्प्लॉयमेंट टू लॉट ऑफ पीपल ऑल्सो आई मीन एक्टर्स राइटर्स टेक्नीशियंस एंड यू नो सो मेनी न्यू स्टोरी टेलर्स ऑफ कम दिस वी कुड मैनेज टू वॉच अ शो लाइक कोहरा और काला पानी और यू नो इवन बहुत सारे किस्म की स्टोरीज अब हम सुना सकते हैं सो हाँ ओ टी टी ने वो वो एक एक रास्ता तो बना दिया है एंड बट ओ टी टी में आई थिंक पीपल आर रेडी विलिंग टू आई मीन दे रेडी टू एक्सपेरिमेंट बिकॉज इवन इफ अ स्मॉल सेक्शन वॉच इज एट इट्स कंसिडर्ड सक्सेसफुल वेंचर एंड या रॉकेट बॉयज ऑल्सो केम आउट आई मीन देर एक्सेलेंट शोज यार आई मीन शोज दैट आई मीन आई if some you know if somebody in uh, europe or america they watching that show and and they think okay these are indian stories mm. i mean i'm going to feel very proud and yeah. this was not really happening before yeah so 
इवन फॉर एस्पिरेंस आई फील इट्स अ वेरी रूटेड शो इट्स अ वेरी इंडियन शो इट्स नॉट अ वे कहीं से भी इंस्पिरेशन नहीं है इसकी इट डजेंट लुक लाइक आप भी देखना इट डजेंट लुक लाइक अ शो दैट हैज बीन मेड बिफोर करेक्ट सो अटेम्प्टिंग समथिंग लाइक दैट ऑन ऑन बिग स्क्रीन वुड हैव बीन अ चैलेंज आई थिंक फॉर एवरी वन फॉर प्रोड्यूसर स्पेशली आई थिंक बिग 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 वॉट शुड आई से इट्स क्रेडिट टू द प्रोड्यूसर्स फॉर for taking such risks and creating such stories yeah mm. do you think the barrier of entry when you came mm. to bombay 2008 to now it's lowered to yeah. enter the film industry yeah. yeah significantly or is it still difficult it would be very difficult for me to say that but um, what i see i feel because the more avenues and you know it's more welcoming and already a lot of people who are not from films have done well and mm. and in fact most of the janta that is surviving on ott they are all non film people mm. so that's why i think barriers are less people are willing to take risk and they are you know more uh, uh, open to giving chances to new people there's a large uh, body of ott work that is very different from one another right but all of them somehow work like for example mm. there was a sacred games which was uh, adapted from a novel mm. uh there's something like rocket boys which is inspired by uh, a portion of history mm. in in india do you think there's a particular genre that india watches that has been proven no there's not one particular genre no. it was always the case in fact somebody if they ask me what genre do you like i said there's no particular genre i like all kinds of stories stories mm-hmm. they just have to be engaging they just have to be engaging it can be any genre you know and any kind of conversation if it's real and there is some conflict in it even this conversation that we are having mm-hmm. if we recreate for camera yeah. and if it make it as real as it is it will be engaging for people to watch correct not for everyone but i mean it will have its audience mm. so ha huh? I was watching uh, Foda. Foda. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I couldn't especially in today's context, right? I mean, I started watching it actually the other way around. I started Okay. After the war broke out, I started watching Foda. And okay. I just couldn't believe the the very real depiction. I finished four seasons in maybe 6 days. I watched the entire thing in the authentic language which was either in palestinian or hebrew mm. and uh, i remember thinking uh, that has hindi cinema come to this point ever in on the global stage where people are that hooked on to a story that is uh, rooted in some part of india uh, i mean it doesn't necessarily have to be this one is especially different because it's so real and especially given the time but do you think that there has been a series of shows that are so gripping and relevant for a global audience on ott yet has it come out of india yet you know i feel there lots of shows that have done well in the first season hmm so ha mujhe tabhi mujhe aisa lagta hai consistently deliver karna india mein bahut mushkil hai uska main reason bhi ye hai ke um sabko jaldi jaldi rise karna hai if writers have delivered something now they want to write a film you know they don't want to work on the second season actors are not busy with uh, they've got a film with a, some yashraj or dharma they don't have time for a show so it's i i've heard these stories multiple times or maybe they have they have escalated their price by like mm-hmm. 10 times 15 times now the producer cannot make it so i've heard such stories a lot mm-hmm. so to utna consistently to i don't think there are lots of good shows good first seasons but there are very few overall good shows am i making sense are you getting what i'm trying yeah, to yeah. say yeah yeah i i get it i get it but i even because i was trying to rack my brain have i seen anything of season 3 season 4 i could yeah. pick first two seasons like maybe a family man for me was i i think family man is yeah. probably the best indian show yeah because yeah, yeah. also because manoj vajpay is just yeah. i mean that screen presence is like i think it's unparalleled it, and it, I was engaged. Like I, I loved it. Yeah, it yeah. cannot happen. See, I'm. Man- I feel like I've also met him. I've also interacted with him. Mm-hmm. He's a very grounded person. Yeah, yeah. You know. We interviewed him. Okay, you've interviewed yeah, him. Yeah, so yeah, you would know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it was a different experience altogether. We've done the entire Netflix series of Foda. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah.
a few of the most grounded set of people in the industry we did the whole cast of gangs of asapur almost the whole cast okay, like, okay. yeah whether it's manoj vajpayee pankaj tripathi so yeah, at the end of the day it's a, it's a very collaborative work yeah so all have to be equally passionate about what they're doing what happens in the first season uh, they're all very passionate but then if it does well uh, mm. they start looking at things differently and then that's that's where we start falling i mean mm. we start compromising with the quality you know nowadays there's like a lot of force fit also going on where let's get influencers let's yeah. do a little bit of representation yeah. and it's pretty easy to see through it if you <coughs> if you do watch films and you do watch shows uh do you think that's also leading to a little bit of a quality dip in terms of let's force fit and make certain things mix just so that you widen the demographic of film and cinema see a lot of star sons st- or star kids are also taken because uh, they're brands hmm. they're not really actors but they're brands so i think there's no harm in taking influencers also if hmm. you're ta- making uh, if you're making it for commercial purpose correct so i mean in films you see a lot of actors and they're not really actors uh, i've seen films where the actress is crying on screen and people inside the hall are laughing you know and it can be really embarrassing for an actor of course so uh and they're working and they're considered huge stars also mm. and uh, because they're big brands yeah and they're big brands for certain reason and i think influencers are also like that mm. in fact lot of influencers are good actors mm. i feel you know mm. i think prajakta kohli is a good actor great actor yeah. she's a good so i if she's getting acting work uh, because of her stardom also there's nothing wrong about it yeah i enjoyed uh, Bhuvan Bam's first OTT See, debut. See, Bhuvan Bam is a good actor. Yeah, yeah. I really. I mean, what is it? I'm forgetting the name. Taza Khabar to abhi aayi thi Dindora last year. Taza Khabar. I really. I mean, I thought that it was. It was such a. It was a whimsical one where you know he finds this thing that is predicting certain events or whatever that's happening in his life, but like he played it. I believed it. I bought into it. Mm-hmm. I was like. No, I've not seen the show though. It's really good. It's a really good show. Oh, I sure. actually I to, even binge watched that. I to three four years pehle. मुझे लगता था दिस गाइज गोइंग टू बी ह्यूज फिल्म ऑल्सो सो हाँ डिप इन क्वालिटी इज नॉट कमिंग बिकॉज ऑफ दैट आई मीन आई मीन दैट हैज आई थिंक फिल्म आर वर्स दैन शोज राइट नाउ हंड्रेड परसेंट सो शोज आर स्टिल आई मीन वी आर ट्राइंग टू टेल आई मीन द लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल हु ट्राइंग टू टेल इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरीज थ्रू शोज सो एंड पीपल हु वॉन्ट टू genuinely i mean want to be authentic about the world they're trying to create they would not uh, go for uh, i mean they would not pick actors because of these reasons mm. agar if you want jo bhi whoever is trying to tell this his story honestly mm. they are not falling for these gimmicks no i mean producers would definitely suggest they would keep suggesting it um but uh, yeah people who are very uh, true to their stories they are not s- coming t- mm. to this Mm-hmm. that yeah so let's talk about the future of uh, indian cinema slash shows or ott you've seen it very up front over the past how many ever years that you've been in ott outside of it you just enjoyed cinema enjoyed films yeah where do you think it's going do you think uh, you know commercial films which uh, are typically like the popcorn films you know you, you, there's no there's no depth but they work mm. because like we were saying earlier they sell mm. because of whatever the brand entity is attached to it they mm. sell but simultaneously when there's such amazing content also coming out for from india which hopefully we solve for the problem of season 3 4 5 6 7 uh, I, i mean maybe <laughs> where do you think it's going one versus the other or do you think both will remain i have a feeling uh, people are going to movie halls to watch event films mm. i think people have been saying it and because they are already watching good stories in their on their phones so uh, i don't think cinema is going to go anywhere now the films have all again started doing well mm. and uh, yeah बड़े स्टार्स का हीरोजम देखने में तो हॉल में ही मज़ा आएगा लोगों को यू नो आई डोंट थिंक जितना मज़ा पठान को लोगों को हॉल में देखने में आया होगा उतना घर में आएगा क्योंकि मैंने घर में देखी थी अच्छा तो 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 सो आई फील कि अभी 
वो चीज रहेगी एंड या एंड आई थिंक यहाँ पे यू यू कैन वॉच एंगेजिंग स्टोरीज एंड यू नो सो दैट जो पेशेंटली बैठ के आपको स्लो बर्नर्स देखने हैं hmm. वो ओ टी टी पे चलेगा सी तो मेरे को भी कुछ ज्यादा पता नहीं है बट दैट्स हाउ आई सी आई मीन दैट्स हाउ इट्स गोइंग टू बी यू नो एंड इट्स बींग प्रूवन राइट नाउ इट्स लाइक इट्स फिल्म आर डूइंग वेल एंड देर proper commercial bot, pot boilers yeah and they're doing well yeah. and people are going for them hmm. to enjoy to ha jo india ke jo avengers hain wo hall pe dekhne mein maza aayega hmm. aur baaki jo thodi you know stories that are closer to realism or real that i think people are going to watch those things on on like at, inside their homes, homes. Yeah. yeah what's the last film you saw in the theater in the theater i saw the buckingham murders right. mummy opening film. okay anything yeah. else the films that i loved this year were ek to past lives and fair play from this year would be this indian film if i have to pick uh indian film achhi kaun si mujhe lagi thi mujhe omg 2 surprisingly you know i was not expecting it to be like that so i was quite surprised hmm aapki kaun si hai saal ki favorite film 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 not really. है ना मतलब no, no, film not really. Shows I've watched. Shows you've seen. Shows like I really enjoyed. Farzi was this year. Yes, I also I enjoyed Farzi. Yeah, I yeah. like Farzi. Farzi. Then uh, I like I told you, so, uh, for the season four just came out, but I saw the whole series. For the तो पुराना है बट हाँ but is, season four. I get it. Uh, I like Kora. Kora you liked. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Then I liked uh, Bombay Mini Jan. actually binge watched that also i liked i'm a huge avinash tiwari fan yeah yeah he way. was he played it very very avinash unme sath mein audition dete the ads ke 10 <laughs> 12 saal pehle hmm. aur mujhe tab bhi dekh ke lagta tha jaise bahut log acting karte hai na so when i was exploring bombay you know also why i was not very confident of becoming an actor because i would tell my dad papa yahan pe um, acche dikhne wale kharab actors bahut sare hain acche dikhne wale acche actors bahut sare hain खराब दिखने वाले खराब एक्टर्स बहुत सारे हैं खराब दिखने वाले अच्छे एक्टर्स बहुत सारे यू गेटिंग व्हाट आई एम सेइंग इट्स एवरी कैटेगरी या एंड तिवारी वाज लाइक अ गुड लुकिंग गाय एंड अ वेरी गुड एक्टर ऐड वाले ना ऐड की एक्टिंग बहुत अलग होती है एंड तिवारी वाज ऑलवेज वेरी सटल एंड बिलीवेबल एंड लाइकेबल एंड आई एम सो ग्लैड यू नो ही गॉट व्हाट ही इज गेटिंग आई रिमेंबर द डे आई वाचड लैला मजनू आई इट आई फिनिश्ड इट एट 3 इन द नाइट एंड आई टेक्स्टेड हिम एंड आई थिंक माय आई हैड like my mind was blown i yeah. think he's uh he's definitely one of the finest actors mm. uh, we have so huh? i have to watch bombay meri jaan though i've not seen it so how do you think you evolved uh, on life? two fronts yeah on two fronts as an actor and as a human being so do you still you know a lot of people come here to become a star and we're talking about star culture we're talking about a lot of different contexts yeah do you still have that like do you want to work towards films or star power or do you want what do you want to do i want to be busy i want to be busy and uh, i'm i want to get exciting projects and uh, yeah i have realized over a period of time especially when i was shooting aspirants to in delhi and i was there for two months i realized how much i enjoy acting you know and i feel it's my favorite character mm mm-hmm. the the I'm I'm not played lots of characters but the मेरा ये अभी तक का बहुत ही मुझे बहुत मज़ा आ रहा था वो मुझे विजय सर ने एक बार कहा था विजय राज ने कि नवीन मज़े लो यू नो आई मीन यू शुड इन्जॉय इट ओनली देन पीपल वो वॉचिंग यू विल इन्जॉय सो आई थिंक आई इन्जॉयड प्लेइंग दिस पार्ट एंड आई जस्ट होप आई गेट मोर इंटरेस्टिंग पार्ट्स दैट आई वॉन्ट दैट आई रियली वॉन्ट स्टार स्टार डम आई मीन मुझे सिंप्लिसिटी अट्रैक्टिव लगती है मुझे ना और आज का टाइम ऐसा है कि नकली हीरोज़म सब पकड़ लेते हैं वेन जैसे रजनीकांत इतने बड़े स्टार हैं लेकिन वो बहुत सिंपल बन के रहते हैं तो ऐसा ज़रूरी भी नहीं है कि आपको एक इमेज प्रोजेक्ट करनी है इन ऑर्डर टू बी अ स्टार आई वॉन्ट टू इन्जॉय माई सेल्फ आई वॉन्ट टू बी हु आई एम यू नो वो करते करते अगर मैं स्टार बन जाऊँ तो मुझे कोई मुझे बहुत खुशी होगी 
बट ऐसा कुछ आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू डू थिंग्स दैट पीपल थिंक विल मेक यू अ स्टार आई एम नॉट इफ आई एम नॉट कम्फर्टेबल डूइंग सच थिंग्स दैन एम यू नो जैसे मुझे याद है मैंने एक शॉर्ट फिल्म करी थी इंटीरियर कैफे नाइट आई डोंट इफ यू फर्ड ऑफ इट इट्स अ शॉर्ट फिल्म इट हैज़ नसीरुद्दीन शाह अश्वेत अबा सुपर साद उसका कुछ प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस थी या ट्रेड लॉन्च था कुछ सो ऑल ऑफ वर ऑन स्टेज एंड या एंड वी वर मुझे याद नहीं मैंने क्या कहा था बट उसके बाद किसी ने मुझे कहा था यू नो मे बी आई क्रैक्ट फ्यू जोक्स एंड नसीर सर ऑल्सो लाफ्ट एंड पीपल ऑल्सो लाफ्ट and i thought i was being funny but after that somebody from some magazine came up to me and said you should behave like an actor when you're on stage so uh, and i didn't know i mean what does it mean i mean how are how an actor should behave i don't know so did you ask her no i didn't she, she liked me she <laughs> said uh, you're very funny in this but then she said that you should behave like an actor on stage <laughs> so uh, i don't know what it meant and i w- आई मीन इट्स इज पॉपुलर ज़्यादा होने से शायद पैसा ज़्यादा आता है स्टार्टम वही आई गेस इज्जत ज़्यादा मिलती है बट सबसे पहला इफ आई यू टॉक अबाउट द नेक्स्ट थिंग दैट आई वॉन्ट टू अचीव आई वॉन्ट टू बी आई वॉन्ट टू बी मो आई वॉन्ट टू बी बिजी यू नो दैट्स वाट आई कीप पेलिंग खुशी ऑल्सो यू नो के फाइन बी मोर वर्क आई मीन इफ यू थिंक आई एम अ गुड एक्टर देन आई शुड बी वर्किंग लिटल मोर देन आई यूजली डू सो हाँ दैट्स ऐसा मुझे खुद नहीं पता कि स्टार्टअप का क्या रास्ता है यार आई मीन आई स्टिल बिलोंग टू दैट कैटेगरी इफ आई डू गुड वर्क आई गेट मोर वर्क सो या एंड एज अ पर्सन हाउ इज दिस जर्नी शेप टू बिकॉज लाइक यू सेट द फर्स्ट सेवन ईयर्स देर वॉज अ लॉट ऑफ वेटिंग देर वॉज अट ऑफ पेशेंस फॉर समथिंग टू मैनिफेस्ट एंड नाउ दैट यू नो यूव डन सिग्निफिकेंट रोल्स दैट यू आर हैप्पी विथ हाउ इज इट shaped you as a person see waiting is still there but i feel uh, uh now i'm more comfortable in my own skin i feel that has happened with lots of rejection or age i don't know with experience but um i'm i've i feel i'm little uh, more okay with you know um dealing with failures also if aspirants to had not worked i would i would have been still fine i feel hmm. i was kind of prepared for it you know uh, so that is in a way uh, you know there was a time when i was waiting for sulemani kidar to get a release hmm. and i was waiting for every response i was waiting for uh, that is not the case right now because i think that uh, these things are not in your hands hmm. i mean when the first season of aspirants worked i was not expecting it to work the way it worked so and yeah so this um i've made peace with the fact that these things are not in your hands and things will work and things will not work and uh, one one show is not going to change everything for you i mean this is this is something that you'll ha- you'll have to be at it if you want to survive mm. this is what i've realized maybe initially i was thinking of some one big break that would change the entire thing now i feel that i have to be at it all the time the moment i'll get complacent the moment i'll feel that okay i've arrived i would uh, not be able to survive so mm-hmm. any particular character a role that you want to play like you really want to do bahut abhi main to kuch kiya hi nahi hai yaar okay so let's talk I mean, about the first thing that you want to do see first of all nobody comes to bombay to play a role of a startup founder or an is officer these hmm. things are very i mean they were not really done in the past so and they've become kind of i feel i as this is this part is a dream role you know hmm so i don't i wanted to play malik bhai of company okay you know yeah. and i remember i wanted to hold a gun because mm. i was i was kind of i thought people uh, when they look at me they see this nice guy and they give me and they see this corporate guy and that's what they offer me all the time but then and it actually happened breathe mein i got the chance to hold a gun it was a nakli gun though <laughs> i don't know if you remember the show yeah, but I, I because i don't get to kill people in the show but mm. i'm i'm holding a gun and when i thought you know i would like there was a time when i would say that i want to play malik bhai i think the way i've played as the the dm avilash of aspirants to i'm trying to bring in those energies only yeah you know the roles that just um, uh, adam sandler punch drunk laugh uh, if i have to talk about roles you know yeah ki isse aisa kuch ek to karishma kya hota hai main sach bataun anything that has been done in the past i don't want to do it okay you that's know? fair i ha i 
so, but i'm just talking about the characters that i really loved you know if mm. i had got those parts uh india mein mujhe yaad hai mirzapur jab aaya tha to mujhe lag raha tha yaar mujhe bhi munna bhaiya ke liye sochna chahiye na logo ko i loved that character yeah. it was one of my favorite characters i was most yeah, upset yeah. when he passed tragically aur bhi hain bahut sare matlab ha abhi kaise ha like the lots of characters mm. that i would want to play these are the few ones that i mentioned yeah so you've had such a interesting journey from you know engineer to actually making it happen for you to operate in an industry that you felt passionately about now a lot of people have that whether the opportunity or whether just the courage to be like okay you mm. know i'll do it what advice would you give someone who's in that situation it's not related to films it could be anything it yeah. could be yeah. i'm i'm working at a corporate but i really want to be a chef i think you know um, we still i mean i don't know about you but i think i'm 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 quite i'm luckier than my parents you know when they were growing up they had to fight to survive i mean i don't think they were in the position to say are main paise ke liye kaam nahi karunga ye thought hi bahut privileged thought hai तो अगर आप क्योंकि शायद बैक आई डेंट हैव मनी बट आई न्यू दैट मैं भूखा तो नहीं मरूंगा ना hmm. अगर अकाउंट में पैसे पूरे ही खत्म होंगे तब तो पापा को इन्फॉर्मेशन चली ही जाएगी hmm. कि शायद वो एक 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 सेफ्टी नेट होगा हंड्रेड परसेंट सो पीपल हु हैव दैट आई मीन इट वर्क फॉर मी आई कुड नॉट वर्क आई कुड नॉट डू समथिंग दैट आई वॉज आई वुड इन्जॉय एंड आई वॉज नॉट रियली थिंकिंग ऑफ द फाइनल आउटकम ऑनेस्टली यू नो Yeah, I was not. I thought this is something that I want to do, and I was at it, and it, things happened. So I would advise if if you do if you're doing something that you don't enjoy, you shouldn't do that. I mean, you you success failure क्या है भाई को तो आप जो enjoy करते हो वो करना चाहिए और जो आपको लगता है जिसमें आपको मजा आएगा और अगर मजा आ रहा है तो पैसा भी आ ही जाएगा if पैसा is success. Hmm. So हाँ uh, that's what I would that's what I would एडवाइस दैट यू नो यू शुड मजे लेना बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है हाँ तो हाँ इतना मतलब वैसे ही सब कुछ ट्रांजेंट है यार इट्स नॉट गोइंग टू लास्ट एनी थिंग इज नॉट गोइंग टू आई मीन नथिंग इज गोइंग टू लास्ट सो टिल द टाइम यू आर योर जिस हैव फन एंड यू शुड डू आई मीन इफ यू कैन अफोर्ड इट अगर आप के पापा के पास भी पैसे नहीं है कुछ भी नहीं है तो फिर आप फिर आप थोड़े पैसे कमाओ पहले सेव कर लो द लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल दे I know a lot of people who, you know, working, who left their jobs in their 30s. Mm. That I find more difficult. A lot of people used to call me, you know, my batchmates and my cousins. So, are badi himmat hai tumme. But I was a very young guy, you know. Agar maine 10 saal naukri kar li hoti, to main naukri shayad na chhod pata. Kyunki fir ek safety net ban jata hai ki har mahine paisa aa raha hai. Main to naya naya paisa kamana shuru kiya tha. Abhi ek saal pehle tak I was not earning money and I was chilling in life. To mm. maybe so I feel it's difficult to. leave a job and get into your passion it's at later stage is more difficult but i don't know abhi is show mein bhi um my there's a there's a character of divisional commissioner hmm. there's a guy called joy who did that part he's uh, he's working as a director ye leela hmm. jo hotel hmm. group hai usme but wo parallelly ye bhi kar rahe hain yaar jabki i mean he's not really left his job yeah. and i don't think he has to hmm. but because he enjoys this he's uh, and there a lot of in fact there a lot of old people i i'm interact i'm meeting these days mm. who are 60 plus and uh, now they retired recently i did a show in delhi and my co actor uh, she, she was she had been a teacher all her life mm. and now she's retired and now she's working as an actor and regularly working as an actor wow joy is also i mean joy's not very old he's in his 40s mm. so he's so ha mujhe aisa lagta hai ki jisse maza aata hai wo karna chahiye aisa kaho kuch time to dena hi chahiye khud ko maine to pura time diya tha actually tabhi ho gayi cheeze yeah i didn't really have a 
my my parents would constantly tell me my ka, my family i also grew up in a joint family mm-hmm. so my uncles and aunt would also occasionally tell me chalo chalo ab ho gayi hobby ab wapas aa jao matlab jab 5 6 saal ho gaye the ha ho gayi hogi chalo ab wapas aa jao but i i just stayed here and i think that's why things happened to me i didn't have a plan i was probably not the most hard working guy in bombay mm-hmm. not neither was i the most talented one but i just stayed here and i wanted to be part of it and that's why i think things happened to me that's a good perspective i guess i don't know <laughs> <laughs> we'll close the the show on this last question not question last uh, recommendation your t- top 5 films or show recommendations for everybody who's watching two that i mentioned past mm. lives and fair play yeah. bari if you have not seen i really enjoyed bari mm. as a show you can watch it and aspirants too i would say please please watch it <laughs> it's it's something new and original yeah. and uh, you might not like it but we have tried to create something which is original it's not like fuck mai apna ek page raha hu char to ho gaye aur panchwa last of us yeah one of the shows that i liked this year it's a is isi saal ka show hai ha the last of us yeah so i'll say uh, my recommend my recommendations <laughs> past lives please watch um fair play the last of us aspirants to please watch and uh, barry good list i'm i've not seen most <laughs> you have not seen all I've not seen Any all. Of <laughs> seen all. But for a, to watch Aspen season two, please watch Aspen season one. I mean, because it's it's connected. It's a continuation. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Done. Thank you so much for the time. Uh, it's been fun. It's been very refreshing, and it's been very honest. So thank you for that. Thank you, Karishma. I had a, I had and a good time too. Guys, watch Aspen too. I'm I'm also gonna go watch it. Wow. Yeah. Thank you for being the best community, and we'll see you in the next one.